What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again. If you've watched me over on Twitch, you know that I have actually been playing a lot of Destiny. Now, Destiny 2 Year 1 was something that I did delve into when it initially launched and found the end game to be lackluster to say the least. Along with the balance of the PvP not being that great for Crucible, I kind of let it go for a while until Forsaken finally came out. And then I picked the game back up. Now there have been a ton of improvements for Destiny 2 with the Forsaken patch and of course the now Black Armory. And I'm not sure how I feel quite with the Black Armory being basically an annual pass which is almost like a subscription model. But that aside, I'm happy to come out and let you guys know that there's a report on Kotaku that Bungie and Activision will be separating. We're going to talk about why this could be good or could be bad right after this. So overall, in my humble opinion, I'm actually pretty excited about this breakup for a couple of reasons. The primary reason is that out of the two big publishers, or the two biggest or three biggest publishers, excuse me, you got Ubisoft, Activision, and EA, the two biggest offenders to basically destroying studios have always been Activision and EA. Now, EA probably to a greater extent, as we saw with things like Titanfall, where they pretty much ran that into the ground and intentionally released it right next to their Battlefield series and the Call of Duty series to in an attempt to basically take sales away from Call of Duty and just some disgusting practices that I am not a big fan of. Now, Activision isn't, of course, uh, innocent in all of this either, as we've seen with Call of Duty in the past and their forcing of a title every year. Now split up into three studios, so things have gotten a little bit better there, but nonetheless has actually just increased the amount of workload that goes on to the developers and basically just releasing less thought out cookie cutter titles that are not very inspired and that's what happens when you start putting people on a timeline like that. Now what Activision did with Destiny or Bungie uh, specifically here is they came out and were telling them that they needed to have a certain patch or a, a significant upgrade every year, which was basically pushing Destiny to not be able to keep up with patches and maintenance on a day-to-day -day basis, which was needed, especially in year one, for balancing of items and weapons and so on and so forth, and adding additional content uh, that was meaningful for the player base at the right times. What's interesting is I do think, and here's maybe a, a the bad part here, putting those timelines on a development studio like Bungie can force them to go ahead and fix overall content problems a little quicker. For example, things like Forsaken and the Black Armory. And without that push behind them from a publisher, they could have issues with coming out with more content uh, more frequently. But I doubt that's really going to be the case. Now, Destiny or sorry Bungie has come out and said that as far as Destiny goes they're going to continue on down the same timeline or roadmap that they currently have out for Destiny so none of that's going to change and they are going to remain on Battle.net now they said they are working on a solution for that meaning that I guess they've worked out something with Activision to allow them to be on Battle.net for now, but I think that they'll be pushing off of that platform at, at, at an unknown time. Now, in a tweet, Bungie came out and said, we have enjoyed a successful eight-year run and would like to thank Activision for their partnership on Destiny. Bungie said in a blog post also that looking ahead, we're excited to announce plans for Activision to transfer publishing rights for Destiny to Bungie. With our remarkable Destiny community, we are ready to publish our own while Activision will increase their focus on owned IP projects. So whatever else Activision has in play, which is most likely going to be Blizzard titles from here on out, as far as I can tell, and then of course Call of Duty. Another interesting thing to note here is Bungie has also 
come up with a brand new game in development and that is being backed with a hundred million dollar investment from NetEase which I find really intriguing and I think might be part of the breakup here. It's supposed to be a new IP. Now we do know that Activision doesn't really like new IPs <clears throat> Hence why we had Respawn, etc. happen out of that whole Call of Duty Infinity War issue, Infinity Ward, excuse me, issue in the past. And then, of course, well, that just didn't work out for Respawn, unfortunately. Doesn't mean, actually, I think Titanfall was a great game. I think that it was destroyed by EA, personally. But that's, that, I'll, we'll leave that topic for another video all in all i think this is going to be a great move for bungie i'm a huge fan of the studio especially all the way back through the halo series and hearing that they have a new ip that, that they're coming out with and has been backed with a pretty significant budget i'm looking forward to the future and what they're going to offer us for content don't forget to go ahead and check me out on twitch.tv slash blind run for, of course, a ton of Destiny content. I'm not a good sniper. I, I, yes, I know that. You can stop commenting on my Instagram post. I get it. But I have a lot of fun playing the game, and I have a lot of fun playing with y'all over there. Other than that, I would really like to see the same move between uh, Blizzard and Activision. Unfortunately, they're kind of probably a little too closely tied at this point, but we have already seen a ton of reports uh, on NeoGAF, etc. of, of course, the developers on the Blizzard side being pretty disgruntled since they've partnered with Activision and I hope that it doesn't drive everything into the ground as bad as it has driven Heroes of the Storm and World of Warcraft into the ground in the past year. Hopefully the, the, uh, <laughs> hopefully, I don't know. Nope, it's happening with Diablo 2. Get out of there, Blizzard. Get out of there. It's a sinking ship. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as well. And I will see you next Tuesday.